Welcome to Aircraft Carrier Survival. This is a game that I've had my eyes on for quite a while. So as we're watching this little introduction cinematic, keep in mind the day that lives in infamy, December 7th, 1941, has already happened. The war in the Pacific is clearly on, as you can see right here. And uh, <laughs> some idiot put me in charge of an aircraft carrier. And they're like, hey, can you do this? I'm like, I mean, I never owned a Super Nintendo. And they're like, you're perfect for the job. And so here I am uh, in command of an aircraft carrier and not just that, but in a, a little escort fleet for it as well. I'm responsible for so many people's lives. And so right there, you just got a little bit of uh, an action packed introduction to kind of the scope of the game. Hey, boat try to bomb other boats and try not to get bombed. I mean, look at this seagull. He's, He's just, just staring into my soul. soul. He's like, like Baron. So many people are gonna die and you're not gonna be able to sleep at night. I'm like, shut up, bird. We're doing this. So now it's time to start the mission. So this is all very important intel. This is gonna tell us how we have to prepare ourselves, what we have to be ready for, and overall what we need to do to win this mission. Now we got some Aussies there, you know. Aussie, 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 oi, 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 helping us out. But ultimately we have to destroy this fleet or cause them to retreat, pull away, and not attack Port Moresby. So we've got these two fleets in around the area we're gonna have to deal with as well. It's gonna be fun. So in 48 hours, the Japanese are going to invade and we're here and let's actually go ahead and head right there. That's our basically our rally point if we check out our objectives. So we need to prevent their advancement, but we can assume the strategic position, which is right here, and then keep them from attacking here. Now, I think we need to have, uh, this is where their fleet's gonna be, according to the intro, right? At some point. So we need to get there and be ready. Now, this is the overview map, but this is the carrier. Now, it's pretty cool, so it's like, hey, what do we wanna do? Let's get two fighter planes ready, and I'll show you why in a moment. But we have all of these different views, and if you look at the free cam, you can see that we have a fleet with us. So over there are what looks like our kind of supply ships. Those are our transport ships, and over there is our escort carrier, which has its purpose. He can help us out with some things. But this is kind of cool. So the fighters are gonna come up from this elevator here. Actually, everything has to go in and out of this elevator. And you're like, wow, Baron, that's so cool. I wish I could see that happening from the carrier deck and everything would be compartmentalized like this. And you're like, yeah, man, that, that's pretty gorgeous. And look, you can see the planes moving, going up the elevator and assuming the position. Now I'm gonna have these guys launching a scout. It greatly increases our spotting range. So let's check it out. So so this is our current spotting range, right? Let's launch that. Now they're gonna fly around and help us out. We're moving the fleet and I think we can increase our speed. Let's get up to full speed. Full speed ahead, gentlemen. Now you can see our different uh, ships in our escort formation. A supply ship, escort That's carrier, cargo ship. And then we've got the crew, which is pretty cool. So we've got two guys in the medical department. We're not gonna need that. We're gonna need deck and damage control is what we're gonna want. And essentially, we're gonna wanna space these guys out throughout the ship because there's a lot of stuff. Like way up here is the pumping station in case we take on floods. People are gonna get injured. Fires are gonna start. It's gonna get crazy. <laughs> So the fighters have taken off and this is free. Let's get two fighter planes up and ready just in case we want to do some recon missions. We can also run airstrikes and identify targets. All these things are going to be necessary. necessary. Oh, wow. Look at my vision. It's like more than doubled, I'd say, just by having these guys scouting. So they're going to be able to do that for what looks like four hours in game time. We can speed this up 8x speed if we want. So it looks like we have the two crews available. One's here. We're going to put them. I want you maybe up in the in the pumping station. Now we can run a recon mission, and these are my overall allotment of fighters, dive bombers, and torpedo bombers. And it looks like we've got an unknown object, so mission is not activated on the island to identify this target. Let's... let's activate that. So basically in order to do that, what we're gonna do is go to the island. And you're like, wait, I thought this was a boat. <laughs> it is! So we got our boy Tommy Boy Cruz up here. And we're gonna run an identify targets mission here using one of our officers. So these are the fancy pants. We get to yell at everybody, right? So let's go ahead and run an identify target over here. And then he's gonna have to come back and land on our ship. So we've got to estimate generally where we think we're gonna be. I think this is pretty safe. That circles basically everywhere he's gonna be able to land. 
We're going to confirm that mission. So we've got scouting going on and around our ship, and we're going to identify this unknown object, which is actually moving uh, left to right. So we might not get to it at all. And since one squadron's going out and we launch it, these three are going to go forward. We're going to get another fighter squadron ready and able on the carrier deck. And this is kind of the game where you're playing like the logistical Tetris that is this game. Oh, there's there's a fire below. That's that's fantastic. I'm really happy that happened. You guys go over there, put the fire out, and then we're gonna have to repair this area here. So this is all the while, oh, and we've been spotted by the enemy. <laughs> Great times. Now I don't think I need any airstrikes right now, so we gotta actually go to the island and put this guy. Let's have you on identify missions. All right, we put out the fires, good. Now get over here and repair that room because it's clearly in need of repair. Fires are bad, okay? I wanna identify this fleet that's moving away from us. All right, so he's gonna go there and then we need you to land back on the ship, which is probably gonna be, I don't know, around here. I haven't mastered like the logistical side of it. We're gonna confirm that. And then we are going to launch that identify. So we've got two identifying going on as well as the scouting mission. So we go back up here, we're gonna want some fighters ready to go. So we'll have them prepped as these guys head on over and assume the position to take off. That's pretty cool. So those are our upgraded F4F Wildcats. So these guys are pretty beefy, they're, they're good. We got a, a greater chance of survival. But this is like one of the coolest things to see is just planes popping up and down the elevator. Oh snap! We've identified a battleship with supply ships and submarines. Where? Your squadron identified the target as an enemy fleet. Where? Oh my god, and they're in pursuit. Okay, so the Daiko defensive fleet is a battleship. We're gonna need an airstrike for this. Uh, battleships are pretty beefy, decent amount of anti-aircraft cover but he doesn't have any destroyers or anything to escort him. So this should be a beatdown if we do it right. This is our first attack mission. I've never attacked a battleship before. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think what we need to do is go to the island. I need, I need you to be able to switch provided mission is ongoing. Oh, I think I can move you down here and then we'll launch an airstrike mission from that. Yeah, there's a lot going on, man. All right, there we go. We're gonna launch an airstrike. Now we've got to prepare it. Japanese battleship, okay. So we're gonna target the battleship because the supply ships and submarines aren't nearly as much of a threat. And this is kind of the interesting part. We essentially have to build up via a card-based system. So more Tetris, how we want to approach this, right? So attack and defense of maneuver number five is increased by, well, we'll put this here and look at that, see? Basically, if I put him in different spots, his uh, attack and defense are altered. Now, we're gonna open this up with a torpedo run, which also boosts the attack of that anvil attack, which is pretty interesting. This one's target fixation. That seems like a bad idea. So attack of maneuvers number one. And look at this. The analysis of the current strategy suggests that two of your three squadrons will return heavily damaged. Oh, but what if we do this? Defense of all offensive maneuvers is increased by 75%. Now only one to three of them. And then we could add this, false strikes, which will help the defense of this one a lot. So the torpedo run's really the only one that's uh, vulnerable, you could say. We're gonna confirm this, and then we're gonna have these guys land back on our ship, right? So we're gonna send them there. We will confirm it. Now we've gotta prepare this, which is we need three torpedo bombers and three dive bombers ready to go. So unfortunately, fighters, we're gonna have to put you down here. So we're gonna move both of these fighter squadrons back to the hangar. Identify targets, neutral ship. Okay, so one of our scouting missions has come back. Let's take a look. So this is just a neutral ship. Maybe it's like an Australian transport or something like that. Although if it's neutral, wouldn't it be, the Australians would be allied. It could be a merchant vessel. Tactical information updated, Captain. What? Oh, there's more stuff, unknown objects. Great. Well, I, I wanna take out the battleship. I hope it's the Yamato. It's not. <laughs> Not enough planes on deck. We've got to do all of this before these guys need to land. I think we can do that. All right, so three dive bombers and three torpedo bombers. But I can only do five at a time, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. All right, let's see how this works out. All right, our scouts finished patrolling the area around the strike group. Okay, so they're going to need to land within two hours. We should be able to turn this all around. According to my basic math, which is largely based off of, I hope I can do this. Let's launch this airstrike, though. And then once these guys are all launched, we need to switch from a launching state to a recovery state to land all of these missions. So gentlemen, 
Send everybody out, bomb that battleship. Luckily, we can send in the slow boys, dive bombers and torpedo bombers, without really need for fighter escort because of the fact that it's just a battleship. Oh, we've got hostile scouts up ahead. I'm going to actually switch to recovery to land all of these things while the airstrike is going out. So they've got scouts over us. It could be a scout plane from this fighter group. Oh, that could actually be a ship over here, unknown object. A lot of stuff going on, but you gotta just pick and choose. All right, so check it out. Now they're gonna be start. They're gonna start landing. We're gonna land so many fighter groups at the same time. Hey, there you are. Welcome back to the ship, boys. And then we'll retrieve these guys as well. So four fighter groups are gonna be landing while we're sending out this giant airstrike on the battleship. It's gonna be cool, man. And then they come up here. Oh yeah, I forgot we named it Sprinkles Yatched. <laughs> And then we're gonna have to send them back down in the elevator, or we could reroute them to just be launched. So how is the... Okay, you can see, now this is where an area I think they need to work on the game because I wanna be able to just click this and it stay there. But we're getting close if you look slow through that. Oh, here we go. Mission report. There was no damage to your aircraft and your squadrons destroyed all the enemy targets. Now this is the cool part. We get to watch what happened. But yeah, if you're a battleship and three squadrons of dive bombers, and three squadrons of torpedo bombers have you in their sights, it's going to be bad. So here's our boys. There's the anti-aircraft fire. This is where it gets a little bit crazy. Now, that's a destroyer, and they got to fix this. And this is the prologue. So in the full game, I better, if I'm attacking a battleship or a carrier or anything, I want it to look like it. Here come the torpedo bombers, so they're gonna need to get a little bit closer to the water. Look at that, man. Okay, glorious victory. All right, so I've gotta wait for all of these to land. Now, we're gonna attack these hostile scouts. So in order to do that, let's actually put two of these guys, no, we've got four. Let's go back to a launching state. So we're gonna move the planes back to the back of the ship. <laughs> Which means we're able to attack with them and we are getting to this area very quickly since we're going at what full speed But our supplies are running low, but we can replenish them in a pretty cool way And I'll show you that in a bit. So all of the planes being moved back All right I want to counter these hostile scouts and then I'm thinking I would like to really run another scouting mission So all four fighters are gonna be going and we'll be able to do that before this airstrike group is returning and needing the land. Tactical map update, what? What do we got? Ooh, report is out of date. Could be a fleet. There's another, th there's so many things going on. But at some point I'm gonna need to find out where the enemy fleet is, right? New enemy found. Oh, ooh, this one's got two sets of destroyers. The Hiken Defensive Fleet, they, uh, as far as we know right now, they're not attacking us or maybe even in pursuit of us. And look at this, by clicking this, I can see the aircraft up overhead kind of scouting us. Now I'm launching a scouting mission. I want to see if that enemy fleet is there already. And once these guys launch, we'll be able to take on everybody. Now it's what? Counter hostile scouts? The enemy has been destroyed. Fantastic. Oh, new enemy has been found. Oh shoot. Okay, they've got a escort carrier, a battle cruiser. So that means they're gonna have planes. And they've got destroyers. That is a massive fleet that we do not want to have to deal with. But let's re recover. Oh, shoot. So this is interesting. One of the pilots has crashed on landing. This happens on an aircraft carrier. So in order to deal with that, we need a crew. And I'm going to have to physically push that plane off of the deck, which is kind of crazy. But we, we don't have the facilities or the ability to repair that plane right now while underway. So it's like, hey, chuck it over the deck, man. So you can see my little... uh deck crew running around here and here they're running out on the deck and then they go they pushed her right off okay oh gosh yeah this is does not feel very good being kind of caught between these two because this these are not going to be easy as easy as just blowing up a lone battleship so this is a problem the airstrike i sent is outside of the recovery area i should have had them fly and i can't change where they're flying to i don't think is it possible here we go maybe it is possible repairing bombers you see we don't need to repair things maybe allow setting waypoints will allow me to bring them back yeah see that's one of those things i guess since we're moving at full speed <laughs> i didn't, I didn't account, account for that. for that so it's like do i send the entire fleet back to pick them up Guys, I think we lost them. I'm not. Oh, we've been detected by the enemy. Of course we have. Yeah, because like if I go back there, this fleet and this fleet are really too close. And we just 
can't afford that. Uh, that's kind of scary. But look at this. We've completed objective two. Okay. Sorry, guys. I hope we don't need you later. <laughs> oh, that feels bad. All right. So we're pulling back to slow speed since we've arrived where we want to arrive. Recovering aircraft and it's almost nighttime, actually. So let's launch a little scouting mission before it turns to night and we can't do this. Yeah, so I think we just lost that that group. All right, I'm gonna launch another scouting mission over here. See if we can't intercept them. We're gonna come back here. This is basically where we're hanging out and we'll launch that all before the nighttime window. I'm hoping I'm not taking, making like terrible, <laughs> I hope I'm not making terrible uh, decisions that will lose me most of my aircraft before we have to attack the enemy fleet. And once these guys take off and join that scouting mission, we're gonna go back to recover this recon and this scouting mission during the nighttime. Also, we're about 30% supplies. So one of the things we can do is actually call in the supply ship. Oh, we're taking on water. That, that's good. I, I love... I love when we do that, guys. All right, so we're taking on water. Then what we need is someone in the pump room. Get in that pump room, boys. Now you... I can't go in that room. So this one is going to slowly be taking on water. I don't see it yet. Oh, no, that's not it either. Work that pump room, boys. And I think these little areas are like clouds or maybe storms or maybe rough waters. I'm not sure. Oh, snap. Mission report. The Ao Aobake invasion fleet. Wait, these are just troop ships. There are no escorts really at all. It's almost nighttime. Can I get an airstrike? They're out of range. Dang it. Okay. We're going to move up here at half speed. No, slow. Sp wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. This is the mistake I made before. My recon group are coming back here. There and there. I guess we could. If we go at dead slow speed, we should be fine. How many knots is dead slow? Like that's really slow. Ah, I see if I send them out there, I don't think they would get to me unless we did some serious Tetris. I think we're gonna have time. We have 32 hours before the attack. We need to be smart and patient. We've already lost one strike group. All right, so we've just been given the low supplies warning. So in order to do that, check this out. This is really cool, actually. Uh, resupply. And when you're like, oh, resupply, what does that do? Well, this ship from a little bit off screen is going to make its way over. Now, we're doing this at night because I feel like that's when it's most efficient. If we're doing it during the daytime, we're a little bit vulnerable. And during the nighttime, there's not as much to do since we can't launch air missions. So he comes alongside, they throw some cables, and then they start transferring supplies and fuel. Uh-oh, what's this? <laughs> what is this now? Prevent Japan's advancement. I think this is the invasion fleet. Hold on. Someone's hurt. Hey, what what'd you trip on? Did you slip on a banana peel? Where is this dude? All right, look for the... There he is. Ah, ah, I hurt myself. All right, um, right, let's get you guys and get him to safety. Now, this is happening at like just past midnight. And you can even see... Check this out. You can see like barrels going back and forth. And then if we go to free cam, this is really cool, man. Look at that. Now, during the day, this would definitely look cooler, but that's what's going on, baby. That's ours. That's our Lexington. And after he's done, our supplies will go from this 15% to high 90s. All right, the recon is coming back. Now, we got to remember that these guys will be moving. And we're at 92% supplies. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. So it's about 4 a.m. We're going to want to get ready for the morning. We are going to start the day pretty quickly. So they move the recently landed fighters to the back of the boat. Now I'm thinking with the fighters up there, can I move these guys up? Order cannot be done. Well, let's get all of the dive bombers out. Actually, let's do two and two. We'll have two fighters, two dive bombers, and two torpedo bombers ready to go. Look how close this neutral ship is getting to us. <laughs> Yikes. You can see the sun is starting to slowly come up. I mean, it's 4.30 a.m. Wait, that's the moon. Ha! Now, I want the fighters at the front. So this is how you have to re-Tetris a carrier deck if, if you don't have your things in the proper order you want them. It's pretty intense. And I'd like these guys up in the front, too. We're basically going to send a recon mission out first. Oh, tactical stuff. The tactical stuff is tactical. So we could have timed this better. It's already 6.20 a.m. But let's send the recon out. So we want to send them and find out where this fleet is going to be. So I'm thinking they've been moving. I'm thinking here looks good. And then we'll send these guys back right there. Launch. 
Now we're gonna want to prepare an airstrike, but we need to find out where these guys are first. And I've got four sets of aircraft already. So depending on what type of airstrike we're running, whether we need fighters or whether we need more torpedo bombers or more dive bombers, I think we're in a pretty good position. We'll probably need at least two of each of these, dive bombers and torps. So we will have our answers shortly. Fortunately for us, this troop ship invasion is not escorted at all. Their defensive uh, abilities, as you can see there, 5 to 20, 15 and 25, is weak. I mean, I, I feel like we could run up next to them and just start throwing potatoes at them and that might force them to surrender. We got a lot of guys. We could definitely do that. The escort is under attack by what? What's the escort under attack by? Oh my God, we've got seven fighters overhead. Oh snap. Okay, this is a problem. That escort carrier over here has launched some stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I need CAP, combat air patrol. We're gonna need two fighter planes for that, I'm sure. Man, this is, I, I did not anticipate being attacked. All right, I need combat air patrol. There we go, combat air patrol. Holy crap. Not enough planes on the deck? Oh, we're getting them on the deck, man. That should be good. All right, Combat Air Patrol launch as soon as is possible. And we found the invasion fleet. So we're launching a Combat Air Patrol. They've got seven uh, dive bombers. Actually, they're moving in. This is, this is a little worrisome. <laughs> I should have accounted for the fact that they would want to attack me too if I did not take out that enemy carrier. And we've got planes on the deck. That's actually bad. That's what you'd call bad. My defense has gone up. I guess one of the things we could do is launch an airstrike. Okay, so we want to attack these guys. They're going to be moving. All right, anvil attack, torpedo run. We had a pretty good one the last time. Zero of your two squadrons will turn heavily damaged. Wait, we only need three torpedo bombers for this? Whoa. All right, now what is this? We need three torpedo bombers. Okay, this is good. We can do this. We can pull this off. I need one more torpedo bomber on the deck. Oh my God, these guys are close. Can we pull this off before they attack us? <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Move those things back, boys. There's some dudes with bombs coming. And so down and launch. They can't see the ship yet. Yeah, but those definitely look like dive bombers to me. <laughs> this is literally a race against time. Oh, one of the things I can do is I've got anti-aircraft guns manned on the ship. And I think I might be able to... The escort carrier, is, he's locked right now. Oh, maybe he's the one under attack. I think my escort carrier is under attack, or will be under attack. As long as it's not us. Sir, your job is to keep me alive. This is gonna be crazy though when the guns start opening up. Oh wow, I think we just barely pulled that off. All these planes are gonna be launched just prior to us getting under attack. That would have been pretty catastrophic had they been shot on the decks. Like they, they're very vulnerable. That's literally the time they're the most vulnerable. I'm tempted to try to get some more cap. Combat air patrol. I'm gonna do it. All right, they should be overhead. All the while, we're launching our attack run. Man, the sun is rising and so is the empire of the rising sun. Where are these guys? Ha, <laughs> I yell at them because I should have planned better. <laughs> Launch! That should boost us from a four to a six defensive level. Attack strength of seven. That's the best we're gonna get. Six versus seven. But this is the one I'm most interested in. This airstrike. Invasion! Oh, they can see our ships now. Oh my god, this is crazy. Mission complete. Woo! Okay, so we defeated them right before we were about to be attacked. I, f I still feel like we should still have to fight it out. But, hey, you know, it's a victory. Now we have an upgrade point. So what are we going to want to upgrade next? We could upgrade our radar range, any aircraft station, hangar capacity. We could upgrade the size of our escort fleet. Maybe have some destroyers or something for better anti-aircraft defense and sub-defense. I don't know. What should we do? And do you guys want to see more of this game? If you do, pull the trigger and like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.